This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. In this module, we are examining the question, how does writing represent language? Here, let's take a look at the Greek writing system. In this video, we will examine the question, how does the Greek writing system encode the Greek language. Our learning objective is to identify what linguistic information is encoded in the Greek writing system. Greek is an alphabet. This is the first alphabet that we're going to look at. The Greek writing system is an alphabet. What is an alphabet? Well, many of us who learned alphabetic systems are quite familiar with this. In an alphabet, each symbol, each letter, can represent either a consonant or a vowel. In the Greek writing system, the Greeks used the acrophonic principle to establish the name for each letter. The Phoenician Abjad was the parent system of the Greek alphabet. So we see here that we had the earliest proto-writing systems eventually developing into Abjads, and then from the Phoenician Abjad led to the Greek alphabet. An alphabet is a phonographic writing system that represents both consonants and vowels, each using their own independent symbols. So let's look at the Greek alphabet and how it came to be. Here are, is a table taken from Wikipedia. In the first column, we see an Egyptian hieroglyph that then led to the Proto-Seniatic Abjad, and we see here the Abjad symbols from Proto-Seniatic, where each symbol represented a consonant. From Proto-Seniatic came Phoenician, again an Abjad, where each symbol represents a single consonant. Now, how do we make the leap from the Phoenician Abjad to an alphabet. So Proto-Seniatic and Phoenician are both abjads. They just represent consonants. So there's no symbols for vowels. So what was the innovation that led the ancient Greeks to explicitly represent vowels using their own symbols? Well, we see here the first letters in the archaic Greek alphabet. Some of these symbols are indeed consonants, but some of them are vowels. So in Phoenician, the name of the first letter was pronounced something like al, where the apostrophe we see here represented a glottal stop, the sound in the middle of the word uh-oh in English. Now, Ancient Greek didn't have a glottal stop. And so when the Greeks pronounced the name of this Phoenician letter, it would have been something more like alop instead of alop. And as a result, to Greek ears, it sounded like this letter sounded the, the started with a vowel. And so this symbol, the first letter in the archaic Greek alphabet, came to be called alpha from alop. The second, beta, gamma, delta. So here we have the first four letters of the Greek alphabet. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. 
And from the name of the first two letters comes our word alphabet. So let's summarize. How does Greek writing encode language? It does so by representing sounds. It represents consonants and vowels. Consonants and vowels are each represented using their own respective symbols in the alphabet. The Greek writing system is an alphabet. An alphabet is a writing system where each symbol represents a sound, and each symbol could represent either a consonant or a vowel. In the Greek writing system, the acrophonic principle was used to establish the name for each letter.